Many analysts have been predicting a market correction is looming. So joining us now live from Dallas with his take on where the markets are headed is John Malden. He is president of Millennium Wave Investments. John, thanks for taking the time to join us. Um, you wrote in your Tom, latest always newsletter. Always a pleasure to be with you. Oh, good. Thank you. You wrote in your latest newsletter that it may pay to hedge some of your equity portfolio as we go into the new year. Can you explain what you're seeing or why you would be a little bit more cautious going into 2011? Well, as I wrote in the letter, I'm not a market timer, nor am I the son of a market timer, but I know some really good market timers. And um, I get their newsletters, read their services, uh, you know, and I, I write about this type of thing in my, my weekly letter. And I've noticed that a number of very, very good market timers, guys who really have their pulse on where things are going and who use completely different systems. All of their systems, all of their signals are starting to give us red warnings. Um, the guys up at Varian Perception, you know, they've got almost 100% of the signals that they use to look at what a market correction could be. And they're not, they're, they're long term, uh, they, would, they would say, if we get a correction, we want to buy that. Mm. Uh, so they're not, you know, they're not talking about a crash or anything. Right. But what it, what it's, uh, it does, and there's uh, the guys who's tra uh, sentiment trading, uh, if you look at the uh, trade-offs between oil and gold and what that's telling us, uh, it's saying that the market looks like it could have a correction. And the most interesting thing is what you'd want to call the difference between smart money and dumb money. <laughs> uh, dumb money being the guys who are chasing momentum. They don't care what, they're just, they're just there. Right. Uh, they're not a longer term investment. And you can look at that uh, and track it in several different ways. Uh, the amount of options, uh, the amount of sentiment, and the dumb money is just piling in. And it's at all time peaks. And that's when you start to see corrections. Although at the I mean, same, I mean, the, although at the same time, John, when you talk about dumb money, um, oftentimes, rightly or wrongly, people say that retail money is dumb money. Um, we're not seeing a whole lot of participation yet from following the financial crisis. Well, first of all, the, the problem that using any system, and, and uh, like, you know, and there's a number of market timers that I follow, the problem is that it, they're never precise. They don't call it that day. Uh, what they're beginning to show is red flags and that you need to be careful and either hedge your positions or have something in there that uh, you know, where your stop losses could be a little bit tighter. Uh, I mean, I, I'm optimistic about uh, the economy, which is, you know, my longtime readers will kind of be strange uh, to hear that because I've been bearish for a long time. But I think this next year is going to be a pretty good year, barring some exogenous shock, you know, Europe blowing up or something. Now, wait a minute, um, John. i got to jump in here because I think you're one of the smart money guys. But if you're telling me you're jumping on the bandwagon, you're going to buy this too. Now I'm not sure no, what no, to No, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying I'm buying. Uh, but the only thing I buy is biotechs, and, and I put my money with uh, uh, traders and, and, and other managers. Mm. But uh, I am saying that I think the economy will be pretty good. And so we're not going to uh, have a, um, you know, a double dip, for instance. go into a situation where we have a, have, a, have a bear market because everybody goes, oh, my God, we're going back into recession. Right. It makes it a trading environment. And at these levels, we can see a lot more volatility. So for traders, I think 2011 could be a very, very good year because you'll have bulls and bears corrections and, 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 and uptakes.